want to give some time to the Lord in understanding what the Lord is saying for us for today, for this week, and next season. Let's open our Bibles to Matthew 25. We're still stuck there. I don't know how long, but... Uh, and I want to go through another parable that Jesus talked about in this, in this parable where Jesus is speaking to his disciples about, about a secrets of the kingdom. How does kingdom work and what is kingdom like and how do I operate in the kingdom being in the world? So in uh, the, f- the, se- the first, the, the, the three, there are three parables that Jesus is sitting around with his disciples explaining these secrets. This is a, 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 the Bible gave us a sneak peek in the secret places where disciples were hearing the God who created us explaining them about what the kingdom would look like. So that that means Holy Spirit is giving us some secrets of the classroom then to us as a classroom here. Come on. It was a classroom for Jesus then. It's a classroom Jesus for us here. He chose few of them to reveal some secrets through a story changing someone's story. The classroom setting is for them to learn to change their perspectives through what Jesus is teaching them. Right? When Jesus share, when Jesus is sharing secretly, he's trusting change in people. Amen? Amen. When Jesus shares, anytime Jesus shares secret things, only for few few people. And, and is concentrating to change their lives is, is, is a significant, significant way to recognize Jesus doing something in the storytelling. So in the storytelling of Jesus, there are a lot of benefits that he is, that he, that he is speaking into where, where, where this is, is amazing scripture that, that, that he, he's, speaking, he's speaking life into these life into us through these parables. The first one parable, the three parables in this 25 chapter, the first one is is about wise virgin and foolish virgins. The second one was about talents. The third one is about how to take care of the people. What he's saying is, what he's really saying is, he's saying, guys, I have cameras everywhere. He's saying, I have cameras, I'm watching, I'm watching you, how, how, the first, in the first parable, the first parable that, how do you use, how do you value time through the first, through the first, uh, what I call, parable. How do you value time? The second parable, how do you value things that's been given to you? The third one is, how do you value people? Get the point? He's, he's watching how do you use what's been given to you through me, and I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it whether you like it or not. Do you get the point? I'm watching you through how you're going to gonna value time. How are you going to value moments in the present time? How are you going to value time and show me who I am in the time? I'm going to watch you. How are you going to use your time? How are you going to watch me? How am I going to watch? Uh, how, I'm going to watch you. How are you going to use talents that's given to you? I'm watching it. I'm watching how you're going to use your talents. I've given you Things that I trust, but I'm going to watch you, even though you don't think I'm watching you. <laughs> Remember the secret? I'm watching you. Jesus is 
speaking the secrets, and the first thing to me, he says, first thing to me he recognizes this is, Ravi, I'm watching everything that's happening to you, but I'm watching these three things that's important to me in your life. Agreed? He's watching these three things. These three things are important to the Lord. When you please the Lord, I need to know what's important to him. Do you get the point? When he is, when I know I want to please, I, if I don't know what to please, I'm missing out what I need to please the Lord. Am I making you think? I mean, I cannot teach this. I just got this out download today morning. So I'm going to drag it for next week too. Let's see if I'm finished it today. So, so what I'm saying is, what did I say? <laughs> just now. <laughs> yeah, the three important things. He's saying, if you watch these three things, that's all you get to watch. I will make sure you will, you will abide in the kingdom than you being out of the kingdom. These three things make you, it'll force you to be in the kingdom. Come on. The kingdom of God is bigger than your thoughts. Agree? It's bigger than your wealth. It's bigger than America. By the way, I'm an American citizen as of, the, uh, yeah, which is good, which is good. It helps uh, Tiffany and Jackie to book my visas. Um, every country we go to, my Indian visa doesn't allow me to travel uh, to any, any countries. American visa, American passport has a free visas. How many countries? Some thousands of countries. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it has a free, 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 free visa. So, yeah, I missed two conferences because of the visas. So, uh, this is, gives this gives me uh, privilege to do this. But I don't know what will what will that do for my Indian citizenship. Uh, I have to. I have to give up my Indian citizenship anytime soon. I have to pay India to give up my citizenship. That's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, yeah so, so, which is okay, which is okay. So, uh, but the point is, Jesus is trying to say, watch me, watch these three things, Ravi. Watch these three things, church. If you watch these three things, you'll understand how I work in the kingdom and make you a part of the kingdom while I'm working with you. While I'm working in the kingdom, you'll be part of the kingdom because you are watching these three things. Amen? Time, talents, people. Everybody say time. What's this? People. Time, talents, people. If you care for these three, you're caring for things of God. Amen? You gotta raise your hands, guys. Come on, raise your hands. Praise the Lord. This is a secret in the classroom Jesus is sharing. All right, let's read the scripture. If you don't mind, anybody, could, could anybody read it out? Uh, Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to. Uh, Let's do one to seven, and another person would read from eight to 13. One to seven, and eight to 13. All right. Mm. Mm. Or say, and the fool said to the wise, mm. Give us some of your oil, mm. for our lamps are going out. Mm. But the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us, mm. Mm. but go rather to those who don't, mm. and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the 
bride groom kill him. Mm. Those who were ready went in with them to the wedding, and the door was shut. Mm. Afterward, the other virgins came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. Mm. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Mm. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Ooh, watch. You see that? Watch. All right. Tell me, what do you see the Lord is reminding us about what? What is he sharing some secrets here that he wants us to learn, what he wants us to learn from him? While the first glance of reading this, what do you recognize? What do you see? Be prepared. Be prepared. Good. What else? Time. Time. Urgency. Good. What else? Stay fueled. Good job. Good job. The, it'll be a test. Yes. It is, it is, it is a test. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else? One more. What is the Lord saying in the scripture? Cody? Kobe? Be wise. Be wise? Good. Oh, you got to open your mouth. I, I'm, but if you open your mouth, I, I'll take there. I'll take it from them. Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Woman of wisdom. Keep thinking. Anyone else? One more. Get your own eye, bro. Yeah, that's right. Get your own eye. <laughs> I'm not giving it to you. Get your own. I like that. <laughs> but what shocked me today, you ready? What shocked me today in the scripture is there are two things that Jesus is emphasizing in the story is for us to have. The two things are the lamp and the oil. Okay? But what it really emphasizes, what, what the wise men, wise virgin and wise foolish virgins did is, the foolish virgin only took the lamp. They didn't take the vessel. They didn't take the oil. What shocked me is, there is a difference between the light and the anointing. Light is not enough. You gotta carry anointing. Anointing is the key for the light. Why? Why? What's the difference between light and the anointing? Light works to where you are. Got it? It shines your present circumstances. What does anointing do? It, what does anointing do? It, what's the word uh, looking for? I'm, uh, he he used the word longevity. What's that? Long lasting. It serves you in the future. Mm -hmm. Anointing serves you to where you're going. The light serves you to where you are. Come on. It, it entertains you. It helps you see what you, what you have, but anointing gets you ready for what is to come. Come on, guys. <laughs> if I don't understand these two things separately, you're missing out what is to come that gives me authority to live in the kingdom and not and wait for another season for that to show up. Get the point? 
I either have 40 years of journey or 40 days power and authority with Jesus. I rather be ready with anointing when the season comes, when the master shows up, when the bridegroom shows up, the bridegroom doesn't only see what my light is, he watches what you carry so that, <laughs> so that I can partner with him with what has been given to me. Amen. Jesus is looking for partnership. He's not looking for independency. He's not looking for you working for yourself. He's looking to say, what group do you engage who are prepared for what is to come or wait for, wait for something to happen so that I can go. Am I making sense to your point? Yes. Waiting is good. I like waiting. Only to the point of, only to the point where that waiting can create slumber, wastefulness to, to what I need to be doing. So what does is, what is anointing do for me to grow? What is really anointing? What does really, what is anointing does to me so I can prepare for next? But anointing strengthens me even wh where I am because it gives strength to the light. Without the anointing, there's no light. <laughs> the light does not happen because of, it doesn't happen without anointing. It not only works to where you are, it also works to where you're going to be. That means it, you not only allow the Holy Spirit to burn your testimony, get your testimony in tight, get your testimony to work where you are, it also helps me to say, okay, if I have, if my testimony is working here, I also need to come on. I also need to come on to, to, to make sure what is to come, I'm prepared for it. Then uh, seasons don't look the same as seasons yet to come. <laughs> you cannot expect who you were 10 years ago to who you are now. Forget about 10 years, five years ago, six months ago. I'm just kidding. Six months ago, you were not married. Seven months, precise. Dating, you know. You're different than who you were. You liked your independence. You liked your toys. You liked your, 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 your bed sheets. You liked your everything that you knew. Now that this other person, dude, why am I sharing this? Why can I not share what I like? I like this thing, she likes that thing. They, am I making sense? Yes. With, with, <laughs> with the Holy Spirit, you, you're giving a chance to learn the partner and admire what's been given to you through a partner so that you can, you can live together without destroying each other. Why? You're admiring what has been given to you. See, the like, what I like about the Holy Spirit is when the Holy Spirit comes upon, when the Holy Spirit is given to me in the, in the salvation time, called anointing, what's happening there? The Holy Spirit comes into the man's spirit. Did you get that? When the Holy Spirit comes into the man's spirit, the spirit of the man it gets anointed by the Holy Spirit. Come on, come on, come on. Until then, the spirit, the spirit of the man is giving permission to the soul and the body to be independent. Think with me, please. Until the Holy Spirit comes on you, comes into the spirit, the spirit of the man has no clue how to lead your soul or the body. It's meant to lead. Your soul and the body. Soul is an identity of the world. Soul is a, is a network. It's a machine that saves 
what is, what is, what is, what is you getting experience from the body? Am I making sense? It's a vessel, you, res, you store information. So what spirit does is, the human spirit was supposed to help the soul get what it wants because it does not know how to lead. <laughs> I'm making any, am I making sense? Because it does not know how to lead the world, it gives permission to the soul. I don't know. Might as well you get your own experience that I don't know. So, so if you don't know, you get your experience, and that experience that I have, are you ready? Is from my experience in the world. So when I'm getting experience of the world into my soul, anything that I'm experiencing from the soul without Holy Spirit is brokenness. Get the point? That's a brokenness. Anytime you're broken, anytime you receive brokenness, call, call expectation that's been broken. Disappointments. What else? Unforgiveness. What else? What else? What else you get from the world without Holy Spirit? Jealousy. What else? Greed. Greed. What else? Resentment. What else? Depression. Depression. What else? Anger. Huh? Anger. Anger. Yes. Everything, fear. Everything that we get, what's happening here is, it, 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 it dysfunctions the soul that's supposed to be working out of order. Everybody say order. order. So when order is, is confused, the soul gets infected. When the soul gets infected, the body gets manipulated and sickened. And it gets infectious because this is corrupted. Am I making sense? Yes. Your body gets infectious because your soul gets got corrupted by all the things that you got received because the stinker spirit gave permission. Okay? But now the Holy Spirit, now when you accept Jesus as your personal savior, the Holy Spirit took over the spirit. <laughs> and starts, and starts, are you ready? And starts looking to the body to say, I'm gonna regenerate you. I'm gonna, Romans 8, I'm gonna regenerate you, I'm gonna raise you as my vessel of the glory. I'm gonna use you as my vessel. The body is what? Scholars, the body is the temple of the living God. The body is meant to give the experiences of the spirit. When the spirit shows up, when I recognize, oh my goodness, there's a spirit living in me. I'm living independently even though the spirit lives. Why? I only work from corruption. What corruption does is it reproduces to what it already knows. What? Soul. Agreed? But when the spirit shows up, what it's doing is, it, it allows the soul to rest. I, I preached this thousand times. Once. <laughs> you, let your, you, you let your soul to sit back. So the spirit shows up. When you recognize, oh my goodness, I have a Holy Spirit. I have a Holy Spirit sent by God, living in me. <laughs> now, if I, uh, uh, that Holy Spirit has a power to change corrupted soul, infected body. So what Holy Spirit does is, he says, soul, I don't want to fight you. You recognize I have power. <laughs> I have glory. I have authority. I have all the answers that you don't have. And the soul says, yes, I've seen you. 
I've seen you in the Bible. I've seen you in the movies. I've seen you pastor talking about it. I've seen you Ravi speaking about it. I've seen you. I, 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 I want to give you permission. I was independent until now. I don't want to be independent. I hate, I, I hate that blanket, but I, 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 could you help me to love that blanket? Julie loves to be cold. <laughs> she loves, it. loves to be cold. I mean, I don't know why she sees, you know, my son is sick, one more, another son is sick. This is not here. She loves to be cold, and <laughs> I hate cold. Even in summer, I had to put on socks, underpants, uh, and a big t-shirt. I, I, I don't know how, I just have to clothe myself with two, two layers of bread sheets. For her, it's happy season. <laughs> Every night is a happy season for her. She just cuddles herself in that blanket. Here I am, I don't want this, Lord. Who is she, Lord? I mean, uh, uh, the, the beginning of the marriage, I was so mad. Oh my goodness. She made me buy two ACs in India. Two ACs. Yeah, I was like, uh, Lord, what am I doing here, Jesus? Who is this girl who likes to make me cold and suffer? I mean, Indians don't like cold, right? Even though he's an American, he hates cold. It's so cold, right, right Santosh? Oh my goodness, I, 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 now I'm okay because I've been trained by Julie for the whole life. The point is, I understood, once, once I understood, like I asked the Lord, Lord, what is this? This is not persecution, this is partnership. Do you get the point? This is a partnership. If I don't give up what I know, to what I want to know, I don't give harmony. What I don't know is how Julie appreciates being cold. Yeah. Okay. I go to villages every day in the hot sun. Can I give her something that she likes? The point of this is, the point of the Holy Spirit came, when the Holy Spirit comes on me, what it does is, he he looks into the body and says, I'm going to heal you while, you're, while I am whispering. Oh, come on, when I'm healing you, the body's experience is what the soul will get. Do you the point? The soul will get the experience of the body instead of Holy Spirit speaking to the soul. Let me experience, let, let the Holy Spirit, let my Holy Spirit whisper healing over the body. Got it? Okay, in two minutes, in five minutes. I'll finish it, try, yeah. My son has a basketball. Uh, he was making sure I finish the sermon soon. <laughs> so, am I going somewhere? Can I go a little deep? Okay, so, so when, the, when the Holy Spirit comes on me, he's healing this body and the body gets the experience of the soul. So now soul is what? It, it's not getting healed, it's rearranging. <laughs> it's taking things that is traumatized, called chaos. Trauma happens because of chaos. Agreed? But when God brings order, there is space for more. Amen? When God brings healing, you create order so that you can make more space for more better things of things that you already have. Order creates healing. Agree? Order creates healing. When I don't have order, that's when you bring in more to create more chaos that, 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 enemy, that, that enemy likes to take on. L enemy, I, I like this because the, the point of God healing the soul is, is for the next season yet to come. You create order, you're ready for next season. Number one, creating order. 
order is necessary in every believer's life. Anointing helps you put things in order. Why? It, it, it knows order is respect. Agree? Order is self-respect. If I cannot create order, there is no self-respect. Order creates a place of courage because self-respect. Respect is given to me called courage. Self-respect is nothing but courage. Everybody say courage. If I cannot create respect, I'm not, I'm not creating courage for the time being. So what all the, all the Holy Spirit is trying to say is, create order so I can see courage in you. No, I didn't hear me. <laughs> Think with me, please. If I create order, what he's seeing is, he's seeing courage in me through the order because I took out what is sensitive to me. No, I did not hear me this. Someone, one person, not everybody. Speak, think. Jesus wants to bring healing to sensitive things that I'm holding on. When I get healed of sensitive things, I'm healing my attachment to my past. <laughs> Come on. Yes, there's father owns. Yes, there's mother owns. Yes, there's so many owns. Those are sensitive. But they cannot be my director. <laughs> they cannot, they have no power to lead me based on a sensitiveness. But I have to lead me, lead me through the spirit. Are you ready? Who loves to not only put order, it loves to teach me. Teaching, anointing, I'll finish here. Anointing is meant to, meant to teach. When the Holy Spirit is whispering, it's teaching. Come on, guys. What teaching does, what, what teaching does it, it unlearns me into new season. I, even though I'm not there, even though the season is not there, I put on this. <laughs> no, I didn't hear me. I put on the season yet to come to where I am. I get ready. I'm making sense. I become that season before the season comes. <laughs> then, the ma then the bridegroom says, dude, girl, you're ready. You didn't know what I wanted you to be. Who the stinker gave you the secrets? <laughs> when the bridegroom shows up to see the bride and the bride says, here I am ready. What the master is seeing is, how did you know I like that color? How did you know I like this? How did you know I like this, 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 Indians wear this? What are that, you know, the long earrings. earrings. How did you know that, that my, my, my son Ravi doesn't like the, no, what is this called? Yeah, no piercing. That's only for India. That's only, <laughs> only for village, not nah, to anyways. Only for Indian, Americans, I know that's a whole other thing. So I don't know why Julie likes that. She, anyways, my point in saying, Ravi hates these things too. What is it with the, the pinch here, this pinch here? Oh, uh, I used to like, I used to, anyways, I'm transformed. Even with the, uh, what do you call this, drawings, you know, I, I uh, tattoos. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, don't kill me now. I, I have been healed. The point is this, the point of this is, come on guys, when the Holy Spirit is teaching you, you are getting ready before the season shows up. Amen. <laughs> the, the, the power of the Holy Spirit is me constantly listening to the Holy Spirit's daddy. What do I know? They, in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, you should read that 1 Corinthians chapter 2 uh, later on. It says, would you go home, could you do me a favor? Read 2 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. It, it's saying, it says a lot of secrets that we can talk about next week. It is, it's saying, when you live, 
out of whispering of the Holy Spirit, what Holy Spirit does is, you want to know? Yes. It's teaching you, it's teaching you spiritual things. Okay? Right? Yes. Number one, it's teaching you spiritual things. <laughs> the secret is not there. The secret is, you go further, you read the same scripture in chapter two, it says, when I'm speaking spiritual things to where you are, what is happening, what I'm, the gift that I'm giving you is, are you ready? What the gift that I'm giving you is, while well, you're submitting yourself to the spirit, come on, come on. I'm giving you the gift where nobody gets to judge you. You're making me, what is the headlight? What are that dear headlight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, let's go. Second, first Corinthians chapter two. I'll read this, I'll finish here. First Corinthians chapter two, verse 15. <laughs> read it. First Corinthians chapter two, verse 15. Uh. He himself is rightly judged by him. Mm. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? Uh. But we have the mind of Christ. Okay, okay. Verse 15 again. Let's read it again. Last verse. Yet he himself. Let's read the whole, whole, the whole 15 verse. But he who is spiritual. Okay. Read it. Judges all things. Yeah. Yet he himself is rightly judged. <laughs> Rightly judged by who? Stinking nobody. That means he's not affected by somebody who said, your hair, that guy, don't listen to this guy who has. Yeah. But he's judged me, but he does not know who I'm judging. He does not know somebody's judging the country's rulers. No, let's not go there. Think with me, think with me. The more you're independent, you're giving soul and the body to be corrupted. And what, the body ha what is happening with the body? Infected, corrupted, infected. But you submit yourself to the spirit. <laughs> you are saying, teach me the secrets yet to come. That means, I'm learning, the secret here is, am I willing to learn new things against what you learned to be spiritual, to be ruler? Can I give my permission, to, can I give my personal permission to learn while I'm waiting for the bridegroom? You need to be a light to learn. Light up yourself to learn something. When you have light, learn something. No, you didn't hear me. Unless you have light, you can learn. If you don't have light, you can't learn. Your independence is living on darkness. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> You're jumping from one thing to another. Enemy loves. Hey, are you ready? I'll say this. You want to hear this? Yeah. Enemy, the enemy loves you to be in the light. What enemy hates is your anointing. Why? Sometimes light, to be in the light, enemy knows this guy, <laughs> he likes, he likes, let's give him a Christmas, 10 days Christmas for him not to go to gym. I'm using, for my, I'm using my example. <laughs> yeah. In 10 days, I'm, I, he doesn't have to go to gym. Every day he wakes up at six o'clock, go to gym every single day. At, at Christmas, he gives up a little bit of discipline to himself. When first of January show up, he's still stuck in the Christmas. Okay? What enemy likes is, let's see how long he's going to be in the light. <laughs> Let me see if he's going to use the anointing. Boredom. 
It what gets the enemy excited. When you take on Holy Spirit, he heals you from the boredom. Boredom is unchallenging you. Boredom is fear. You take boredom is anxiousness. I'm making sense? But anointing is privilege. <laughs> anointing is ready, being ready to say, Daddy, I'm ready for whatever you're going to be. What are you going to bring? What are you going to give me? I will do exactly what you want me to do because I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm not only with the light, I'm also with, with, with oil. He sees your light. He also sees your anointing. What are you learning? So you can unlearn. What do, what do you learn? You'll take on new things to unlearn old things. Amen? Keep you all stand. I hope I got something, you got something from today. Did you get something today? Yes. Who got one thing? Give me two things. What's one thing? Jay, what's one thing? Use the anointing while you're in the light so that you get, you, you, yeah, use it. What else? While you're using it, are you ready? While you're using it, you're saving also. <laughs> while before you go into the bride and groom's chamber, while you're using the light, you're saving the oil. <laughs> while you're, while we're waiting, the, come on, while you're preparing, the baby, the baby in, in Chloe's is safe and growing. It's, the baby's not stopping. I'm excited to, to hold that boy baby and just, just, I, I, anyways. I'm, I'm waiting to dedicate soon two babies here. And there is baptisms actually, sometime soon. Uh, we're gonna use our neighbor's pawn. I, I didn't ask him. Um, uh, or our, our pawn there. Unless, it, does it have something? You got it? Oh, good. That's a beautiful pawn too. Whichever, whichever. Yeah. Yeah, giving up, right? Let's ask the Lord this today. Ask the Lord by, by something that God's given to you to say, Daddy, I want, I'm praying over this, what you're getting prepared. I'm praying over this, what is getting prepared. It's growing, but it's getting prepared. <laughs> no, he didn't hear me. The baby is growing, but is getting prepared to see the mom and dad. He does not know, hasn't seen the dad yet. He's hiding away. The baby is there. The baby is growing. To witness us all through these parents. Same thing. Let's ask the Lord to say, Daddy, you've given me this business. Come on. You've given me marriage. It's six months old, but this is 20 years old. Thank you for giving me this business. Thank you for giving me this marriage. You're giving me experience getting prepared. Give me your mind to learn new things. Can I unlearn old things? Guys, listen up. Listen up, I have to say this. When I live out of independency, what's the new age stuff? Uh, the one who sees things. Uh, no, 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 that's not new age, but uh, 
Uh, psychic, medium, uh, procrast, something, the word they use that I want to see something tomorrow. Prediction, close, close. Manifestation. Um, there's an there's a exact word that people use is pr projecting, want to see something. Uh, astro projection. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. You know why astro projection is famous? Huh? Yeah, it's new age. You know why it's new? Why it's creeping into church? You know why? You know why? The spirit is not controlled by the anointing. The human spirit is not controlled by the Holy Spirit. It's saying, "I like my independency." That's why people don't like to know Jesus, because I'd like to be independent. I like this. I like to control by what I want to be controlled by. They don't know what's the end, right? Astral projection is, is seeing what enemy wants you to see. <laughs> Astral projection is seeing what enemy places. You know what enemy places? He's mixing your past to the future. <laughs> but when I get to see it with the Holy Spirit, <laughs> That's not astral projection. It's, 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 it's seeing through the spiritual eyes for you to become that you don't know that you're going to become. <laughs> I didn't know that I'm going to be in America. 30 years ago, I thought I built this eight acres of land and told people, Sir, if I die, this is the land. I, I bought eight acres of land to be my, anyways, today, dad is wanting to help us, help us to say, let go, Ravi, let go. I want to bless what has been given to you. I'm going to bless what's been given to you. Can we ask the Lord? Here I am, Lord, teach me. Whisper yourself into me so I can do better in marriage. I can do better in the business. I can do better in, in families. I can do better in things that I need to be. Teach me new things, Daddy. You know what teach new things means? Becoming courageous. Grow, grow me while it's growing. Jesus, thank you so much. Jesus, as we hold our in our right hand, whatever is growing right now, whether it be a baby, whether it be a business, whether it be a marriage, hold it. We're going to hold it tight now. We're going to hold it tight that we are together here to give you permission to hear the whispers of the Holy Spirit. Jesus, we're letting go our independency today. We're letting go our independency today. No more independency is ruling us. Thank you, Jesus, for healing all our sensitive things. We give you permission to heal the corrupted soul and infected body. That we are free from all the bondages that these two brought today because we are possessed. Everybody say possessed. By the Holy Spirit. Jesus, thank you so much for today. We bring Holy Spirit to us today, Daddy. We bring on ourselves with the Holy Spirit. Help us to join this coming new year with the Holy Spirit so we can hear the voice through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' Daddy's name, anybody who's excited to live with the Holy Spirit, say, Amen. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you.